Hey everybody, we are back on the bandsaw project again. I was sitting in the house watching TV and I'm like, why am I sitting in the house watching TV when I got other stuff I could be doing in the garage? So, out here I come. And this blade does not want to come off. Getting hooked on the metal part right there. And there we go. So you try to take the blade off, it turns this way and it cuts into the aluminum and aluminum and aluminum. So let's see if this time we can be successful and put the new chain on. There we go. There's your four little screws. That, what happens inside that you don't see is those screws bolt into this, which this is bolted into. So once this is bolted into, it holds everything together. Unlike last time when I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on, and then I couldn't figure out where the, where the hell this, this pin was came from. You know? Yeah, I know. Stupidity has this place with me sometimes. Wow, get in there, you little piece of crap. This is what I get for buying cheap tools sometimes. This ain't worth it. So you take off your clip. You take off your spacer. And you take off your wheel. The wheel slides off. I think I'm going to put a little grease on these. I'm going to put it back together. So here is the bad sprocket and the bad chain. So, if I can wiggle, do the wiggle jiggle here, and get this thing out of here. Wiggity jiggity. It's kind of tight, Christ, it might be even tighter going back in. All right, so there, that's out. And, yeah, I hope that number goes bad because I don't think you can replace that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak over this way quick on you. And I'm going to grab my grab my little grease gun. And I'm going to get a little oops, little dab little dab will do you. I'm not going to go crazy because maybe that's why they don't grease these because there's metal chips in there flying around and they don't want, you know, the sprocket getting covered in, in grease. But I'm just going to very lightly just rub some on. If you notice that blob is staying pretty good on my finger. Oops, until I just set it. I could get a little bit of that off. I'm sure the chain is pre-lubed, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right. Okay, which way this is going? So, this is going this way. Now, let me make sure I put the chain on the right way. So, I'm going to do this quick. Chain's going that way. Well, chain's going that way, so this link would be facing the wrong way. If it could catch something, it could pull this clip off. So now I'm going to flip, flip it over. Because, let's see, flip it this way. Because you want the link, when it spins... You want this part going in the direction that you're you're spinning in, this way, because you don't want anything to catch it. If this hits anything, it'll it'll just push the link back on. I 
All right, so let's do the Wiggly J. This is tighter. I can already see it. Okay, that was kind of a bitch. See, now look how much more tighter the chain is now. I can see the difference in it. There's a huge difference in it. Wow. And now... Wait a minute, what's the freaking way? Put the chain on backwards. How the freaking hell did they put the goddamn chain on backwards? It's got to turn that way, you stupid bastard. Hmm. Well, it's changed. I'm just big enough to fit on the sprocket. All right, so the chain's got to go this way. So when it turns... Okay. All right, we're good. Now the link is on the other side. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I was thinking of. All right. Yeah, so it's going to spin this way now. So it's spinning this way against it. All right, we're good. Momentary stupidity. Okay. Now I gotta flip this up exactly flat. Oh, I want a little tiny bit of grease. Just a little tiny bit on the shaft. They probably tell you don't do this, but. All right, get that perfectly centered. Carefully. See, look at that. No slack at all on that chain now. None. Please drop all the way on. And it did. Now, let's spin this so it can find all the holes. There we go, right there. So you'll know if you don't have it dropped in because by the time you put this little spacer on, if this clip won't fit on, then you know you screwed up. So it's actually pretty easy to do this. There it is, snapped in. Okay, let me line up these screw holes. It should be right there. I can see right down through. That guy, the light above me is reflecting light down in these holes. This should be, let's see if, we're, let's see if we got it. All right, now look at the play. See that? I've got like one, it's, it's, there's like no play. Let's see what it sounds like now. Sounds like a new gear in there is what it sounds like. So there. Ta-da. So that's it. Let's throw this puppy back together. I'm finally done with it. That new chain setup will slowly break in. All right. Let's get this in the eye that things there. Start tightening it down. I want to hit the gas and I'll finally lock it in. The chain all right? No. Yes, that's right. Okay. There it is. So, if you ever have to change your sprocket, this is it. You saw the uh, before I could turn that wheel quite a bit. Now, I couldn't even turn it. Just, I don't even know what the smallest measurement is, but that's pretty much it. So, now, officially, this is done. I can get it off my bench, finally. That's awesome. So, there, it's all rebuilt. This, I don't know, I just hang it somewhere in case somebody says, what is that? Then I can say, oh, this is a chain drive off uh, one of these. And nobody believes me. Like, no, they're not chain drive. I said, yes, they are. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset. The next video, I'm going to sharpen these with this. So hang on. Okay.
So as you can see from this, it's been like double cut. And when you use a regular, regular grinding dish like this, they always have a bevel on them. And you can never seem to get it right, um, even if you go flat. So I just changed this to put the flapper bit on. So we're going to try this and see what happens. So now you can see it's like full coverage. Probably sprayed the shit out of my phone. Yeah. Yeah, that works a lot better because it gets it closer. Because you can see now when that when that sands it down, it's a nice flat edge compared to the other side. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to move my camera over here because she was getting pelted with sparks, I think. I'll try to move you up any even closer here. I want to get a really nice sharp edge on this thing, so. I tried to tilt my stupid cover out of the way, but the problem is you undo this lock and you, get, you, have, you almost have to take it all the way off. So it's like, I ain't dealing with that right now. raining out now of course all right so there's that I'm going to flip it over and just barely touch up the other side a little bit. So there you go. That's about how easy it is. And you can see it's got nicks in it. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll grind this flat. So what I did with this one is I put it on here and I got it flat all the way across. Now, you say, why don't you try sharpening it on this? Well, this is why. Because that's all I got. I did try sharpening it on this. And you can't see the angle you're holding it again at. So... Hey, no, come here. Don't eat insulation. God, where do you find this stuff, you damn idiot? This is that old... No, that's no. Don't eat that. Oh, my God. All day long. So I basically got all the... Grab the right blade this time. There we go. So we'll put this back in here. And... And you can see where I've tried to grind this before, if this thing would ever focus. You know, I'm having so much problem with this phone, I'm about ready to throw it in the garbage. But you can see there's like different cut lines and like that. Camera dirty again? I don't know, I just can't get a good picture of it, where it's all, there you go, now you can see it, misground and all that. Yeah, ever since I put that screensaver on this thing, that glass screensaver, this phone's almost impossible to start and stop it. I don't know, I think there's, the screensaver's a piece of crap.
That is factory nice right there. This side's terrible. Yeah, this is basically just a waste of time for me. I got brand new ones coming. But now look at that. I mean, there's a shadow in it. That's not what I did there. But that's, there, there you go. How's that? That's nice. That's why I use a flap disc. This is the other side that I sanded. So, I got one more to do. This has got, uh, got a little notch in it right there for hitting a stump or something. This side, you can see, it actually bows in this way. So I'm going to take this over to the belt sander and uh, grind that off. All right. So there I took the nicks off of it. You can see how much, how flat it is now right there. And this side's the nicks gone in it. The old belt sander did its trick. And believe it or not, I actually have a uh, balancing tool for this. And if I can find it, I'll show you at the end of the video how you do it. So, there is that, all nice and uniform. And I hit it on the way back through. Same as this side. All right, so give me a second and let me find what I'm gonna be looking for. All right, in case you people don't know, you people, this is a lawnmower blade balancer. It's just a pin on a cone, that's all it is. And it'll tell you, I use this to balance my wind turbine blades. See, so now it's a little heavy. Got to make sure you get it in the center. Dreams are barking at something. So, yeah, it's a little heavy on this end. So now we're going to take some weight off. Junior's outside barking at his own shadow. Get in the right slot. There it is. So there we go. And you just grind it off the end right here, that's all. So that one's bounced. Get it centered over the hole. So now this end's heavy. Let me look over the top. Make sure I got this on right. Alright, there's perfect. Alright. Oh, you can't see that, can you? 
Okay, right, back them all the way out. There we go. So now you can see the difference, obviously. So this this side is like inch and a half, and this side is an inch. So that's a half an inch off. So that'll make a lot of difference underneath your lawnmower spinning at 5 million RPM. Because with the wind turbines, you have to balance your blades. If you don't, they'll shake themselves apart. can't tell if I'm straight or not. Oh, I wasn't. For some reason, this won't fit on one of those notches. That's not bad at all. This is what I'm using for the flap disc. 36 grit. That's all it is. Pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of people... They never think of this. But my wind turbines, when they're whipping up there, oh yeah, it, it'll shake the pole. You can feel the shaking in the garage. Get on there right. I think this one's going to be way off. Okay, stop wiggling. This one's really heavy on this end. I mean, this side at the point I got three quarters of an inch this side I've got two inches so this is really heavy on this end and this is also how to save your bearings on your deck because if your bearings you know, they're taking the beating of this thing being off balance. All right, what do we got now? Stop bouncing around. Am I centered? No. How come I don't have a size that fits in this hole? I don't know if that's kind of close. All right, what did I do now? So now I got one inch, an inch and a half. Oh, we're gaining ground. Now obviously the flap disc is not like really a, a crazy grinding disc, so it takes off a little at a time. I don't even mind on the center. Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. So there you go. You just grind some off the end. And that's it. So on my uh like the wind turbines I got uh, what drawer did I put them in? Oh, right here. Wind turbines, I use these. I put them on here, and I use these sticky weights. These are car wheel weights, and they're just peel and stick. And I stick them on the wind turbines. And it's kind of a bitch, because you're trying to balance uh, eight blades. Yeah. And just by moving one of them weights a half an inch will change everything. It'll throw the whole wheel off. I spent um, almost an hour one time balancing a blade. And uh, that's part, that you got to do that with your wind turbines because it'll shake them apart. It'll kill the bearings. And that's a lot of times um, what happens to your lawnmowers is either you don't grease your freaking, you know, bearings on the blade... Or you just never balance your blades, and it just shakes your shit apart, and that's it. So like I said, this is my original set that came with the lawnmower, and I just did that just for fun, because I got new blades coming tomorrow, some special ones, and, and I have a special drink in the house today. I couldn't find it for the longest time, and I finally found it. You might have had a glimpse of it sitting here on the table. I dust all this off because 
you know me now. Now I'm Mr. Freaking Clean. I'll have to put this back over on the shelf. I found a couple of plates to put up there to cover up those other ones that they made a mess of. This is Moonshine Sweet Tea. This is, let me hit the closer up button. Whoop. Lip smack and good. Um, non alcoholic. Real cane sugar. This is a real sugar. And it helps children's charities. This is brewed. My hands are leaving dirty prints over the bottle, so you can't even read the damn thing. This is brewed right in the moonshine still. So they brew the tea like they're making moonshine. And this is the absolute best sweet tea I've ever had. Oh my God, you can just taste like fresh tea leaves. It's unbelievable. <coughs> if I'd stop inhaling some. All right. So, throw these over here for now. The blades that I've got on here. You can see I've already chipped it right there. Got a chip in it. But this is a clump of stuff my dog likes running around on. Oh, that's what's catching it. Spring. Yeah, I take this chute right off. I broke it off anyways, but I think I'm just going to unbolt this and just take it right off and get it out of the way. You know. Junior walks around. He goes out in the yard. My lawnmower blows clumps out like this. And it's actually worse when I leave the blade on. So Junior comes walking back up to me, looking like some kind of a freaking smurf or the big green beard, it says, which I'm trying not to laugh because it is funny. And you always hear me saying, get that out of your mouth, you know. So, did I grab the right size? Of course not. Did I grab the right size? Of course not. Smaller than I thought it was. Well, it ain't nine sixteenths. And it ain't that one. That means it's a half inch. So this is the stuff I like doing in my garage. I just puttering around. I find something, I fix it, I you know, do a little of this, do a little of that. The rain up there has quieted down quite a bit with this uh foam. So, now we can get this damn thing the hell out of here. It's just little stove head bolts. Now my grass will stop catching on there. Because I always wondered that. It's like, why the hell is the grass catching on this stupid thing? Yeah. And I'll just put this over on a the bench. There, now it's gone. So the grass will shoot out just, just fine. But if you ever get a chance, um, you go on Walmart.com. Amazon used to carry it, and then they didn't carry it. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And then they did carry it, and it came back. The price was like freaking uh, $50 for a 12-pack. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? So my wife says, can you check Walmart? So I look on Walmart and I found it. A 12 pack for, I don't know what it was. I don't remember what it was, but when I get done yapping here, I'll put up a picture of what I paid for this. And uh, yeah, this is a real, real stuff, man. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to read any of this, but I don't know. I am honestly getting really sick of this phone. I'm going to start saving my pennies up and get the S21. You know, this isn't a 5G phone, but I've got 5G in the house. So, well, that's it for today. 17-minute video. And it would have been a lot longer than that if I didn't pause it in between. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do not make an hour-long video, so 
All right, I'll find the price of this, put it on the end of the video here, and I'll catch you later, and have a great day.